thanks for joining me in our, I do not know where the, there we go. Look how much better that is. I'm not all glary. Um, thanks for joining me for our third and final live. Um, we are going to do another canvas. It's going to be an 11 by 14. And we're going to be using our 8.5 by 11 stencil, Choose Joy. So we're going to paint the canvas. As you're hopping on, say hi so I can get my comments pulled up. I guess when I'm doing the reading the comments, it um, says comments will appear here. I know that they will, but I don't see any comments. Is anybody commenting? Okay, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna paint this canvas black because we're gonna use some bright colors and I really want the colors to pop. And I think that they'll do that. I like this, I can move you down. I think that they'll do this really well against the ba um, black background. So I am going to paint it black. I'm not gonna get quite so carried away with the paint like I did the previous one. I'm just using um, apple barrel paint. This is um, it's just black, number 2044-20404E in black. I got it from Walmart. You can get um, apple barrel paint really inexpensively from Walmart. You can get the smaller bottles for 50 cents. And I'm sure this one is probably a dollar something. Two dollars. Wasn't much. I'm just painting it with a sponge brush. You can get a whole package of sponge brushes in different sizes for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I got these from our Dollar Tree before it burnt in December. But luckily they are working on it and it is going to open back up. I think. I don't remember if it was March or May, an M month, I believe. So, alrighty, now I see. If y'all have made any comments, I apologize, because I'm just now getting them up. So. Just painting the front and the sides of the canvas. I'm not going to do anything with the back. Because I'll put a hanger on this. A cloth tooth hanger. And it will just hang on the wall. So you won't see the back. Typically if I'm doing... Um, Something that has to be painted, I will paint all sides front and back because I've gotten, I've bought things that the backs were unfinished 
and it's just not attractive to me because like I have things that I put on my door and I have a glass door so I can see the back of it through my door and if it's unfinished it just doesn't look very good so I always paint the back as well All right, I think I got all sides. God damn it. Okay. Make sure I got the front good. Some light showing through there. I think I go from one extreme to the next. The last one, I think I put way too much paint and maybe not quite enough on this one. Okay. Then with these sponge brushes, they really soak up the paint. So you can just dab it and get more out. All right, that's good. Get my brush in the water. I am gonna give this a little dry. It's hard to see on this black table. While I'm drying this, I'll show you the canvas that I did in my last slide. It's an 11 by 14. This is our Philippians 413 stencil. I think it turned out really cute. I painted the canvas and beige and chalk and coal black. Doesn't take this long at all to dry. good and dry because I do not want, once I lay my stencil down on the canvas, the adhesive to pick up any of the paint. It can pull it off of my canvas and then it will adhere to my, st my stencil and I don't want that. So I'm making sure that I dry it really well. doesn't take long for them to dry. Okay. And because of the finish on this, I am going to um, wax it. Because I want to be able to pull the stencil off without any issues. Okay. Alright. I'm going to 
to give myself a little light. I hope that doesn't like give too much glare for you guys. Put my book under here. Again, we're going to be using Choose Joy. It is an eight and a half by eleven stencil. It's thirteen ninety nine. All of our eight and a half by eleven stencils are thirteen ninety nine. So mark the back. And I am going to fuzz this a couple of times. Because it is so sticky. See, it's it, they're adhesive, so it's very sticky. I'm just going to fuzz it on our tacky towel. Our tacky towel can be found on my website along with all my stencils and chalk paste. My website is lauragoen.magnoliadesignco.com. So, you should go check it out. If you see anything on there that you like, you can order and have it sent directly to your house. Or if you see a stencil that you like, that you would like for me to put on a canvas or another surface, then just let me know. And nine times out of ten, I already have the stencil in stock. If not, um, I can order it. All right. We are going to be doing this in lots of different colors. So, we're going to be using our lime green. I don't know if you can see that very well. We're going to be using daffodil yellow, Tiffany teal. Here's the yellow. And then the lime green. Can't really see well with the <laughs> sugar plum, which is a pink, and pansy, which is this pretty purple. So these are the colors we're going to be using. I'm going to be using a couple of tools. I'll be using our um, squeegee brushes be using this one which is just an angled squeegee on a paintbrush stick. I'll be using our mini squeegee and then I have one that I have cut in half. So I'll be using that. I need to get another one. I have um, some other ones that are cut. And then there's other um, squeegee paint brushes. Here's this one. It looks like a lipstick thing. So I just want to have try to have a squeegee for each color. others that were already cut. Let me just cut one. This is our cut apart squeegee. Here I'm just going to cut me. I'm just going to cut it. I just cut it with scissors. doesn't always cut the same 
at the top as it does the bottom. But see, now I've gotten four squeegees out of that one. Let me see if I have any comments. Alrighty. Now, the hardest part is deciding what color to do where. So, and then now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if this purple is going to show up good on this black. So, I think I'm going to try it on one of these little dots. Because I don't want to do a lot of this purple, the pansy, if it's not going to show up well. So. Get it wrap and ready. And we'll just do like one on this corner and I'll see if I can, how it shows up. It may be just perfect. But. Just do this little dot. Lift it up and it doesn't really show up. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like right there. It doesn't really show up that well. So I'm thinking we're not going to use this pansy color because I want it to show up. So, we'll take this color away. I have an orange. What about orange? Is orange going to clash with the teal and the pink? Or should I just leave it with these four colors? So, what do you guys think? I think if we get too many colors, it's going to make it way confusing. So, okay. Making sure I have not missed any comments. I do know there's some stars on here I can do in yellow. I see a star, a peace sign. So, I guess we can start off with some yellow. And just get to work. Can y'all see good? As you're looking at it, if you see something like, ooh, you should do the J in this color. My colors are yellow, lime green, pink, and teal. So, I think I'm gonna stick with these colors. I think we're going to need some yellow down here, so I'll do this flower in yellow. This kind of reminds me of um, something from the 70s. A little hippie-ish. With the peace signs and stuff. Okay.
darkness. So glad I brought this little rubber thing in here. It makes opening the jars very easy. I think I want to do the butterflies in pink. I'll use a little squeegee. Okay, there's one. There's one here. There's a flower here we can do. We can do the hearts. And pink as well. Some of these lids are so hard to get off. What um, paste gets around the edge? I need to clean them. It makes opening them a little difficult. Okay, I think I'm going to do this flower here in teal. Okay. I think we need some teal down here. Some of these little things look like paisleys. If y'all remember the from like the 90s, paisley was a big thing. I'm not doing any, this in any rhyme or reason.
just kind of want it to be a little even as far as colors. Tend to get that little dot. Okay. I think I need some more yellow. I think I'm going to do all these little dots in yellow. I'll stick that in the pink. Okay. I think I got all the dots. Open up this green. I think this lime green is going to really look good against the black. I think it's going to be the one to pop. Some of this can be a little difficult because you don't want to mix your colors and this area is so small. That's why it's a good idea to cut apart a bigger squeegee to make smaller sections. This area. And as I'm looking at all these colors on my canvas, I'm trying to 
decide what colors I'm going to do my letters in. That, to me, picking your colors is sometimes the hardest part is because there's so many pretty colors. It's hard to choose between them. I think I'm going to do the rest of those little bits in the teal. I hope my paste isn't getting too thick. Because then it may pull up once I pull my stencil up. Okay. Mason is playing his game and I can hear him trying desperately hard not to be loud. <laughs> Okay. I think we're going to do this J in pink. Goodness gracious, I know I should have used a little bigger squeegee on this part. Okay, I'm going to do this little part right there, though, in pink. Okay. Alright, then we're going to do the flower in yellow. I am going to use a bigger squeegee. I think I'm going to have to add a little more water. It's kind of getting a little thick, which means my paste on my canvas is getting a little thick. I better get a move on.
some of my pink mixed in with my yellow a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Then we're going to do the Y and the teal. And then we're going to do I choose in the lime green. And hope that once we remove our stencil, that our first bits that we did stay in place. wanting to lift so we're just going to kind of go over it just a little bit see if it'll lay back down Stencil in there. It's um very colorful, that's for sure. Psychedelic. And that's this is how it turned out. It definitely pops. And it, those colors look good against the black. So all in all, I'm pleased how it turned out. Almost looks like it would glow in the dark, doesn't it? So. All right, guys. I thank you for joining me today. And um, I hope that you choose joy. I'm going to move y'all up. And I hope that you choose joy if you like this project and you would like to make one for yourself. The stencils and the chalk paste can be found on my website at lauragowen.magnoliadesignco.com. Um, you can find all of the stencils and um, chalk paste, ink, surfaces, um, other than the canvases, um, on the website. If you'd like to place an order for a project, um, just send me a message and let me know what I can do for you. Um, if you have any other questions about anything that we've done in, any, in this live or any of the other ones today, just give me a, um, shoot me a message and I'll be glad to help you out. If you'd like to join my team and get 35% off of the products, ask me how you can do that and you can join for $69. So, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday and, um, I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Bye.